Hi friends and golfers, Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy. Thanks for watching. Today I want to go over kind of the comprehensive golf swing help for either beginners or maybe those struggling, okay? And we're just going to look at, you know, some of these pieces that probably get overlooked that I know maybe aren't as fun, you know, talking grip, posture, alignment, and we're going to get into some low point too. But you'll be amazed how much these will help you if these are your problems or not rotating correctly. Uh, the golf game can become simpler than we think if we're doing some of these things correct. Okay, so let's talk about grip first. I, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to go over is my experience in all the years of golf that I see as the, there, there's definitely <laughs> correlations and typical that I see with bad everything. So grip or whatever, there's, it's not like, oh, I see 50-50 of this. There's definitely a, a, a huge trend. The trend always is this. It's more grabbing in the palm and kind of almost in the middle like this. So the problem with that on your lead hand is look how my wrist doesn't won't work properly. You know, you got people that end up like this and just no power. So I call this part of my hand right here on the lead hand, the meaty part of my hand, okay? That part has to get on top of the grip. You see how I'm grabbing it right here? Now that's on top. Now, I'm gonna pull this thing up in front of me. Now I look at it. I'm going to look, if I look straight down without going like this, <laughs> it's so hard for my students to do that when I ask them. They're like, I'm like, don't move your head, but look how many knuckles you can see. There I go. <laughs> but if I look down, I see two to three. And most people need to see that. Are there those out there that play with the weaker grip? And yes, there are. Most people, though, would benefit from having this because the wrist now, if you watch them function, look at that movement. So I can go up like this, this nice rotation. It just moves naturally. This is how the club should naturally move, okay? Just like that. Okay, now, we got that on there. The right hand, I view as just kind of shaking hands and putting it on here. Some may have a little more under, some may be a little more on top. I would say since most people slice, I'd have it a tad bit more under. It's just going to help you get this club face a little more closed, okay? So, that's grip. Rotation. Yeah, I see it huge. I'll just see these swings that are just like arms. That's it. It definitely this breakdown, maybe the body moves a little bit, but then you get to the top. It's like everybody's parallel, but look at my body. <laughs> Didn't even move. So that person should really be here. Okay. So I think of it like this when you're working on rotation, a nice rotation, but thinking of the hands as far away from our body as possible. Okay. So body kind of turns. We're feeling like the hands get as far away from as possible. So I'm just going to do this rotational drill here. I'm going to get a nice turn, you see like that, and then I would take this club and put it out here. And this is what I want you to feel, this huge pull of these, this, these fascia lines right here. You're going to be feeling this huge pull like out here. And in fact, that's what I feel in my takeaway, this huge pull from this side that just pulls everything back and gets me nice and tight. So guess what happens? Then I unwind. The backswing is a setup that we kind of, I call it bounce off of to unwind with, okay? With a great backswing, we don't, and we don't have much time to downswing anyways. The swing takes about a second. Point eight of it is in the backswing, so you only have two, uh, two tenths on the way down. So it, it, we, we just don't have the time to do it. Okay, we we cannot make many manipulations of the way down. We already have to make sure we're getting this club face closed. So it's just too much. So nice turn. We're going to feel that left shoulder. If I had a, something four feet away in the ground for me right here, I'd see this club here pointing about at that, okay? So it'd be a little bit about side the ball. I don't want people like this. I don't want them flat like that. Somewhere right about here, okay? And the other thing I hear all the time is this left arm, okay? i got to keep this left arm straight. The problem with that is this is what people do. They get this thing way behind them, something like that. Folks, don't worry about your left arm. <laughs> if you turn your body... This left arm is going to be fine. It's not going to want to go like this. You're not going to have the support you need. Okay. I would think more about this right arm being like, like that thing is more straight. Okay. Because that way we have the width we want. Most people collapse it like this. You won't see a single person on tour past 90 degrees. Okay. I think Bubba may, but <laughs> I kind of leave Bubba, Bubba, Bubba out of it. So, but typically you'll see Roar even with his driver is about 60. So it's really, really wide. So I, I, I tend to think more of just, just get your body turning and this stuff's all going to be out here as long as we're thinking about keeping, 
like I said, the hands away from our head. We don't want anything close to us. We don't want to be here close to our ear, close to our shoulder. We want to be away from us, okay? Basically getting this arm on top, not below our chest, not on above our chest, okay? Above our pec, okay? So just get turned now. When things can go wrong too is with if we have improper alignments, okay? Now, I, I'm not gonna get into saying everybody needs the same alignment here, okay? Depending on your swing, I have some people open, some people close, but here's the point, okay? Whatever you are, that needs to stay consistent because if I am, I am a little bit open, okay? And so if I'm like that one day, I'm a little bit open right here and my swing feels pretty, you know, like normal from that point, what happens if I end up, now I'm going to really get it like this, so this feels normal now. What do I have to do to get that ball over there? I'm going to have to come up something like, get it way underneath like this to get it to the same spot. Or if I'm closed, I'm going to have to do something crazy like this to get it back over. The thing is, it's going to be so gradual, you won't even know until your game's gone really downhill. And you'll be like, what happened? How am I swinging it so far off? We swing it usually typically along our body lines. So if for some reason you're a little open or square or a little close, it doesn't, you know, I, I have preferences based on your swing, which one to do, but whatever you come up with, stick with it. And that will breed consistency in your golf swing. Okay. Now I, I want to get into the other point that seems to be misconstrued always is low point. Now, low point, when you have a track me like I do, and you can see the statistics up here, uh, the numbers track man is basically giving me a snapshot of what's happening out here now i get some stuff that happens from here to here um but most of it's a snapshot of what is right what happens when i hit it so low point is this when we hit the golf ball okay our lowest point should be probably 45 inches in front now what happens is just i think because nobody's told they just assume it's at the golf ball so we get a lot of flipping like this, trying to end it right there. So you get these high weak shots, you never compress it. Like in order to compress this ball, we gotta have our hands ahead. We probably catch on the third groove and we're driving down at a negative angle of attack. So maybe like five degrees with a seven iron, allowing us the chance to really compress it. So the way to work on that is pretty simple. Um, I like to think, so if I'm at the ball right here, I'll set my club here, okay? Get, get yourself a nice backswing and then work on landing up here, okay? So probably, you know, four or five inches in front. And once you do that a few times, go ahead and hit it, okay? So I caught that a little bit thin, but that's okay. You've heard thin the wind, right? <laughs> so um, work on that. That, to me, once we get all this other stuff out of the way, the static stuff, the alignment, the grip, you know, posture, so, Posture, big, I, I want to go over that really quick too. So I've done a lot of videos on this. Most people come in, they're like this. Hips are way back, we're kind of on our heels. So you see, if I put this in the middle of my hip, it's way behind my heel. What's wrong with that? I can't move my pelvis, I just can't turn, okay? So I want to feel like if I put this in the middle, it's gonna be more over my ankle, okay? And then I'm gonna have a little bit of rounded back and I'm gonna feel like my pelvis is more underneath me. Not that much, but just a little bit. Okay, my upper back's gonna be a little bit rounded. And the arms are just gonna kind of fall right there. And that's where I'm at. Okay, that's what I wanna feel. Why is that important? This allows me to really wind up and the body work as it's meant to be. Okay, so I can get down in this kind of impact zone like I want right here. So when I'm coming through, I wanna be able to be here, hit about third group down and land here, okay? So, Work on those, like I said, most of them are static, meaning before you even hit, but then I want you also work on this drill. If you just do this drill and work on low point, you're gonna improve your game, okay? You are gonna improve your game. The final thing I wanna cover is, this, is the other part I find that most people don't know in golf is this. I have two ways to close this club face, okay? One of them is this. I can take my back swing and I can go like this, right? which is called basically flipping it, right? But it closes my club face, right? And if you look from this end, it'd be somebody that goes like this. So my hands are way back here. <laughs> and then I'm like this. Oh, 
Typically, their hands are behind the bow when they hit it. Okay, there's no shaft lean. But what will it do? It will get it'll get the club face square. Typically, okay. But you're gonna you you are gonna hit um, you're gonna top shots. You're gonna hit them fat and everything. What we want to do is learn to rotate this shaft motorcycle move like that. If you watch the club face when I do this, close. So if I do this, look what happens on the way down now. So this club face is more closed. So then I just rotate and turn. So then I end up like this. Look at that, hands way ahead. That's what I want. So work on some drills where you split your grip like this. Just go up a little bit like that. And I want you to just come down real slow, down like this to where the ball would be. And if you put your hands on it, you find out, wow, look at that. That's gonna be massive compression, okay? Just to get used to this feeling of what it's like to control a club. Just a good idea for you is we want to remove the extension you have on your left wrist on the way down, basically flatten it. If we do that, we'll see how it's starting to match my back angle by the time I get here. That's what we want. We'll be in real good shape typically if we can just get this pretty flat on the way down. Some have it even a little bowed, that's okay too. But as long as we're working that way, out of this extension towards flexion, we're in good shape. That's a big start to your golf career or to help you get out of the funk if you're in it. Typically when something goes wrong in your golf game, if you even experience this, you're gonna find in something I just talked about. It doesn't mean typically, that, oh, I gotta go into this deep analysis of what could be wrong here and there. For most golfers, it's probably gonna be something in there, okay? Now it could be something else, but especially for the beginner, I, I, and those of you struggling, knock all those out as possibilities. Once you've do, done that, then you can move on and see if it's something else. I hope this helps you. Uh, leave a message down below. Subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Eric Sorg, EJS Golf Academy.